Oh, hi. I was just doing a little window cleaning. Were you just watching me through the window? That's a little creepy, don't you think? Certainly not the strangest thing I've ever seen looking out a window, though. There is a crow dragging a live rat by its tail. No, it's not. Yes, it oh, is. Okay, I gotta get up. Damn it. <laughs> I've always enjoyed window cleaning because it's so easy, it delivers immediate results, and it can actually be quite satisfying. Unlike a lot of the other services I've provided as a professional cleaner, window cleaning is cheap, quiet, satisfying, and highly profitable. It doesn't require any loud or expensive equipment like carpet, upholstery, tile cleaner. You can get everything you need to start a window cleaning business for less than a hundred bucks. There are no gas engines running the whole time you're working, so you're not burning money whether you're productive or not. There's no worry that you'll run out of gas on larger jobs, and there's no expensive and time-consuming mechanical failures to worry about either. And best of all, because you don't need any big, loud equipment, window cleaning is quiet. All of this makes cleaning windows peaceful, enjoyable, and profitable. So I have to wonder, what would possess someone to want to go and complicate it with gadgetry? Well, let's find out. The Magic Carpet Man. I'm not 100% sure what this thing is. I actually thought it was going to be a lot bigger than this. Businesses frequently reach out to me asking if I'm interested in doing a partnership or a sponsorship or if they can just send me something like this to try out and review. And I always say yes. And then after I say yes, they ghost me. Every single one of them. So you can imagine my surprise when this showed up at my doorstep. The entire manual is written in Chinese. So that's not going to be a help. Hopefully the pictures will be enough. This has caboodle vibes. Oh, check that out. Suction cup. Carabiner on one end. And... Some sort of little proprietary locking mechanism thing on the other end, I guess. <laughs> no idea what this is. Interesting. It's just filled with these. An empty bottle. A remote control. and a thing on a cord. Lots of cords. Lots and lots of cords. Huh. And it plugs in on this end. First step is that we have to take a couple of these and put them in the bottle with some water. And then we're supposed to fill this up. Second step, we gotta plug in.
this goes. This thing goes in here. It goes in there. I don't know what this is for. Let's try it again. I get it. This plugs into here and you tie it off to something so that if this falls off the window and you're like high up and it falls, it doesn't take the whole machine with it because it'll be caught by that. The remote requires triple A's, which is minus 50 points for that. There. You see this ridiculousness? These pads don't even feel wet. I don't think it's using any solution at all. You can see there's solution in there. Oh, there's some streaking. I don't get this thing. I'm gonna reserve judgment until I've actually cleaned a real window with it, but right now I can't see any reason why I would ever bother to plug this thing in when I could just grab a spray bottle and a squeegee. And I could have cleaned this window probably 20 times in the amount that this thing took not cleaning it. So let's try it out on a real window. The hardest part about window cleaning is not cleaning windows. Washing glass is easy, but sometimes getting to the glass to clean it can be a challenge ranging from inconvenient to downright dangerous. And I think that's where this device comes in. Now, typically for a window like this, I need a very tall ladder like this one. Unfortunately, this machine doesn't eliminate that need, but what it does eliminate is the need for me to get a totally different ladder to be able to clean the outside of the windows. I can clean 75% of this window from the inside. Obviously, I can get both inside panels from the inside, but I can also get this outside panel from the inside just by reaching my arm out and cleaning it like so. What I can't do, though, is clean this side of the panel. That's where this machine comes in, I think. We're learning. Need to send all of this slack outside. And the other thing I just learned is that uh, when it's on the outside of the window, these controls are reversed. So left is right and right is left. And there you can actually see some liquid right there. So. Yeah, I wasn't sure that it was actually spraying out any liquid before. So that's good to know. It's actually working. Until it's not. I don't know why it keeps getting stuck like this. Just don't know if it's going to get this grime down here. Doesn't seem to be any rhyme or reason for how it operates. I don't know if it's obvious in the camera. 
but you can see a line right here where it stopped. Oh, that's even better. We'll clean that. Pressed auto, I'm gonna see what it does on its own without any help from me. Really not doing a terrible job. Oh, and then it goes back and it gets its streak. That's actually kind of impressive. There we go. Right there. And it comes back. Uh, didn't quite get it though. All right, it's on the booger now. Oh, there's a good shot at a booger. See how it does. It's going across. Yeah. Well, it did okay in the middle. Right there, it got it. But now it's turned its attention over there. Oh shit, it's about to fall off. I'm going to slacken, otherwise it's going all the way down to the first floor. See that? It just leaves a little triangular shaped schmoo spot where it didn't get clean. Okay. So that was the fancy schmancy window cleaning machine. Now let's give the old fashioned way a shot. Fancy schmancy window cleaning machine. And now the old fashioned way. I could spend some time, make it perfect, but that gives you an idea. All right, let's see what else we can do. You like my mirror ball? 10 bucks at a garage sale. <laughs> All right, so I've got my laboratory set up so we can get a better idea of what this thing is actually doing. Not just the sticking to the glass and moving around, but see if it's actually cleaning anything. I also discovered that uh, this unit seems to be battery operated. I thought it was just corded, but it's unplugged and it turns on. I don't know what the flashing red light means. I assume it means that 
it's not charged enough. So, I don't know. I don't know how it could not be charged enough. It was plugged in all day. Now that I'm more familiar with this thing, I don't think that it can operate on battery power alone. I think the battery is a safety feature that provides just enough suction to the cleaner to keep it on the window in the event that the machine loses power for any reason. We'll try it on the outside first and see what we can do about these streaks here. clearly doing something. All right, I'm gonna press the button for deep clean and see what it does. It certainly seems to be more methodical on the slider than it did on the window not doing a great job though. I can still see streaks where it's already been. It's not doing nothing either. All right, while it's cleaning the outside, I'm gonna clean the inside so that we can get a real good idea of how it's doing. Well, that leaves a lot to be desired. All right, I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna see if it can get this spot out right here. All right, and then we're gonna use the spot clean function right there. It's going over that spot. Hit it with a burst of water. Well, this just looks like a whole bunch more work for me now. All of this on the edges. I don't know what the point is. I don't know what the point is. I'm at a loss. Uh, I don't know what to say about this machine because I don't know what this machine is made for. Um, I don't know who it was made for. It's obviously not for the professional market and I can't imagine what homeowner would buy something like this after they've seen how it works. The company that makes this sent me a list of problems that this machine is supposed to solve. The first is it solves the problems of high level window cleaning, insecurity, lack of time and laziness. Not quite, you definitely need time to use this thing. If, if you're pressed for time, grab the squeegee. It's a lot faster. Number two, it solves the problem of high cost window cleaning and can be recycled multiple times. Yeah, that one's probably true if you're talking about hiring a pro. You'll definitely make your $400 back plus however much these extra schmatas cost. Number three, solves the problem of difficult window cleaning, no need for ladders and other aids, especially for the elderly and people with high windows. No. I already demonstrated that you still need a ladder if your window isn't accessible from the ground. Four, solves the problem of time consuming window cleaning. Twice the speed of the machines on the market, giving customers more leisure time. Again, just no. I don't know about the other machines on the market, but until one of these things is twice as fast as me, I'm not spending 400 bucks on it. And five, solves the problem of long power and safety cables and the difficulty of storing them. The power and safety cables are two in one, easy to store. I just don't even know what they're talking about with this one. It sounds like they snuck a problem that professionals have cleaning windows and high rises into a list of residential window cleaning problems. They also have a video of this thing cleaning dry erase marker off of glass. Well, obviously this thing is going to be able to clean dry erase marker off glass. Dry erase marker on glass is one of the easiest things in the world to get off. So why would you spend $400 to be able to remove a 99 cent marker from the window? 
Personally, I would rather use a squeegee and a rag. It's faster, it does a better job. Even if you were using this thing every single week, it doesn't get to the edges. So you're gonna have to go back and use a squeegee or a rag anyway. So why not just start there? Save yourself 400 bucks. And I can hear the trolls now. Well, your windows are just really dirty. Yeah, but it's supposed to clean windows. So why doesn't it do that? And also, if your windows aren't that dirty, why do you need a $400 machine to clean them? And if your windows are dirty, why would you pay $400 for a machine that doesn't clean them? It's disappointing because this little device is really well made. I mean, just look at this thing. It's got, everything feels nice about it. The buttons feel nice. All the switches, they don't feel cheap. I mean, look at this connector right here. It's not a cheap connector. And this box, I mean, you don't see things like this anymore. You don't see devices that come in their own case with a handle and, and everything. It's just, that's old school. It's really well made, but who cares if it's well made if it doesn't work well, right? So I guess all there is left to say is, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and please, don't send me garbage. <laughs>